the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 56, Numbers 31-32 Moses and the land across the Jordan After occupying the land, Moses distributed it to the two and a half tribes. For this, they volunteered as the vanguard during the war that was to take place in the western side of Canaan. First point, 12,000 mana generation. They were able to win their first battle. Up to this point, the battle between Amalek, Jordan, Sion, and so on were all led by Moses. But for this last battle, Moses was commanded to place Phineas, the son of high priest Eleazar, in front and for him to select a thousand men, each from the twelve tribes of Israel, and collect twelve thousand men to fight. The reason for the battle with Midian was because of Balaam's scheme of putting the Moab women out to seduce the Israel men. The preparation for this war involved the tools from the tabernacle as well as a silver horn and 12,000 men with swords. This battle became a sample for the 31 battles which were to come in order to conquer West Canaan. Second point, before the Israelites crossed the Jordan River, they practiced distributing the spoils. They were led by Phinehas together with the 12,000 men won a great victory against the Midian clan. The most surprising thing was that the 12,000 men all came back alive. To these men who experienced the great victory, God taught them how to distribute their spoils. But importantly, the spoils were not to be distributed only between the men who went out to fight. God's law was for the spoils to be distributed between the soldiers, the Israel people, and also to the Levites. In some ways, distributing was an even more difficult task than fighting. That's why God gave them such regulations in the first place. God taught them how they were to distribute the spoils from now on, as they had a long way to go. Third point, there were two reasons for Moses' anger against the two tribes. After the Israel nation had conquered the Jordan River, the tribe of Reuben and the tribe of Gad came to Moses and the high priest Eliezer to pre-ask them for their share of land. The tribe of Reuben and Gad had a lot of farm animals, and the land in the Jordan was suitable for farming. But when Moses heard their request, he became angry. The reason why the humble and meek Moses became angry was because of two reasons. The first was because of the regulations of a casting lot. The second was because he thought these people would not fight for the rest of the people after settling in their land. Before, Moses was one to always at least listen to the people's request. But the fact that Moses became angry even before they finished saying their request shows just how sensitive this issue of distributing land was. Fourth point, the two tribes come to Moses to explain. The tribe of Reuben and Gad fully understood why Moses became angry at their request. That is why they reached out to Moses further. They explained why they made such a request. Of course, if Moses said no, they were willing to step back. 
they had been with Moses for the past 40 years and had obeyed him until this point. They explained that their tribes specialized in farming and so needed the special land for their industry. But we will arm ourselves for battle and go ahead of the Israelites until we have brought them to their place. Meanwhile, our women and children will live in fortified cities for protection from the inhabitants of the land. We will not return to our homes until each of the Israelites had received their inheritance. After hearing this, Moses agreed to their terms. These two tribes, as promised, kept to their words and fought ferociously for the next five years until the last land was conquered. Fifth point, Moses laid the stepping stones of entering Canaan. The incident with the two tribes actually helped in bringing together the last of the tribes. Moses had worked very hard for the past 40 years, and now he worked even harder to make sure that everything was going well. Later on, we see that the tribe of Reuben and the tribe of Gad indeed kept their promise and was blessed by Joshua. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading. This is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.